Hello and welcome to the final video in the Google Shopping Training Series. In today's video, we will be finishing and uploading our dynamic retargeting ad, as well as going over the next steps in your advertising strategy. This is only the beginning. I hope that through these training videos, you have gotten the kickstart that you need to become successful. Within this series lies all the tools that you need to start advertising your amazing store on Google Shopping. It is always sad to see something come to an end, but this means we have the opportunity to start back over again. Before we get started with the training, I wanted to remind everyone to subscribe to the channel. I put out a video every single day to build your knowledge in advertising, marketing, Shopify, and dropshipping. I do this absolutely free of charge. I also host a live call every Thursday night for the Facebook group, where I give away a one-hour consulting call. By subscribing, you are helping this channel reach more people and build out the revenue required to keep producing these videos for you. Thank you so much for clicking through. I hope you enjoy the video. Open your Google Web Developer application and go to the ad we created. We need to make a little change and insert our logo. In the right side, in the outliner window, we have to find our logo. Once you locate your logo, simply click on the object in the outliner window, then right click on the highlighted logo in the workspace. Click swap image, press the plus in the bottom left and add your logo. Now in the top right, click on publish and select all the checkboxes. These are all quality of life improvements, at least what I found for them to be true. Once published, open up your Google Ads Manager and navigate to the campaign we created and click Create Ad. Upload Display Ad, click Choose Files to Upload, and find the ad we just published and upload it. In the final URL, put your homepage address. Don't worry, the ads will adjust the address based on what product it is. Click Save, and you're done. Quick note, there are some milestones you must hit before you can create this campaign. If you're having trouble setting it up, contact Google support and they will go through everything. Time to wrap up this training series. Over the training series, what we have done is purchase data. While I always want you to make sales, there's going to be a lot more to it than just putting up ads and you instantly make money. If you followed all the instructions in these videos and you're not making sales, it's time to troubleshoot your page and ensure that everything on page is optimized so that people want to buy. Google Shopping and this training series should be treated like a loop to be played on repeat until you have reached your goals. Take your products that are performing, scale them to new heights by giving them their own budget for the single product. Optimize those listings by creating negative keywords for any unprofitable search terms. Split test your page design so that you have an opportunity to see if there's an improvement in conversions when you test certain wording against others always seek to improve your profitable items. The most important part is improving your unprofitable items. If Chia Pets are still being sold, so too can you sell that product that you believe in. Follow all the instructions in these videos and look at this from your customer's perspective instead of just as the seller. Where are you losing your customers? Analyze the experience and fix the bottlenecks. Once you feel that you've mastered this training, it's time to implement the next training material. Do your best to become the absolute best at one platform before moving on to the next. I'm honored that you took this journey with me and I look forward to making more trainings just like this one. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next training series.